uh, Speed, thank you very much for uh, for doing this interview for us. Uh, you run, uh, what is your organisation you run? It's called ECHO, isn't it? Something like that. What it's is it? It's called ECHO, East Coast Homeless Outreach. East Coast, I thought that was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so um, what kind of area do you do you cover to your outreach with East Coast, of course, but uh, where, East where's Coast, that? Um, we were normally from, it's normally from um, Grimsby down to Far Skegness, Lincoln, but with the COVID, we've actually been far, far up as Scarborough, right down to Newark during COVID. Right, so it's kept you very busy. Um, very busy. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't realise you went quite as far, actually. I thought you probably didn't cover the Lincoln area, maybe others do there but like yeah. if, if yeah, there's a need there you do don't you yeah yeah we do lincoln every sunday we do a street kitchen uh it's like an indoor venue we do that every sunday and at the minute we're it's genuine homeless we're doing about 24 every sunday afternoon excellent they, they supplies like sleeping bags dry clothes we get that as well the hot meal excellent excellent um just um Without getting, I can say, judgmental or anything, and I'm, I'm trying not to get anything like that, but to, especially the Layoff area, how, what is a homeless situation in the Layoff area? At the minute, there's, I don't think there is actually any homeless, but there is quite a lot of sofa surfers and families struggling in Layoff. Um, there is a lot of problems in Layoff. Many with yeah. sofa surfers, what need help to get their own accommodation and all that, um, but get the benefits sorted out and in the in the need of food. Yeah, yeah, I've I've noticed that with the others. I mean, I've 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 had Greg Greg, Greg on from uh, uh, obviously with and um, oh, uh, was it Sue Partridge at the. Uh, at the um, Generations Church with their free Sunday meal. And the amount of people, especially Greg, what, what they do there, he tries to put the signpost in to help people, such as that, such as that, which is which is great. Um, right, so just give us a bit of a, without me surmising anything or whatever, just, just give us a bit of an idea of what, what you kind of do. Um, people contact us, we do food parcels, we do street kitchens, we do prescription deliveries, anybody what is in need of help, we don't ask for referrals, if they're brave enough to knock on our door, they, we will help them. We're friends helping friends, and logo on our van, not charity, solidarity, simple as that, we will help people who are in need of help in what way we can. Right, excellent. Yeah, so, uh, what, like I say, you, you say you do kitchens, uh, as in uh, yeah. street kitchens. Is yeah. that from a vehicle, or do you go to uh, places like uh, halls, uh, venues with, with that, yeah? Um, Lincoln is an indoor venue. Mm -hmm. We work out of um since Swivens Community Centre, but we've had to move at the moment because that is a COVID test centre. We will be moving back there in a few weeks. In Grimsby we do a street kitchen twice a week on the Grimsby flyover and we work out of our van or one of the catering trainers. Our van is fully kitted out with a kitchen in the back of it, what has been built especially for street kitchens. Excellent. So you <coughs> Overall, kind of how many meals do you produce and what kind of times do you do? Um, for the street kitchens, I say we do 50 to 60 hot meals a week. We do two street kitchens in Grimsby. That is a uh, Wednesday lunch time, 12 to 2, a Saturday night from 6 to 8 p.m. And the one today on a Sunday, we get there about, we start at one o'clock and finish about half two thirty. Excellent, excellent. Uh, are you, uh, you mentioned Scarborough, 
uh, was that a one-off or is that something that you a, a project uh, is expanding it's up there? One-off. It's when you think about it, it was actually to support a circus. When you think you you got that circus there and there's like 20, 30 people and they're actually classed self-employed and once they're not allowed to perform, they need food. They were stuck there. Right, I see. So, so kind of the circus came, they couldn't perform, so they couldn't earn any money and they were stuck there. It was a, a, a kind of a, yeah. a loophole situation they ended up in. Yeah. And... Um, uh, you went in to assist in that. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And when you, say, uh, when you think about it, once we stopped performing, some words of different nationalities, they were struggling to get the benefits to buy the food, which they couldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a, a, a bit of a black hole for them there, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah. Yes, it was. Yes. And you, you, you provided that. You see, people don't think of that, would we? We'd think of homeless. That's people walking the streets, you know, or generally homeless. But sometimes yeah. people get into a, a, a temporary situation where they just need a help through. I mean, yes. Paul was talking about not actually keep feeding people, but to help them to get back on their feet. I mean, the other yeah. things that um, um, Greg was saying was signposting to getting them to try and find a place to live and things like that and, and get benefits and get their finances sorted out to get them back on the feet and back into society yeah. and not needing... Uh, but but then of course you've got to provide that initial, haven't you? You know, yes. I need a dinner. You know, I need some food. So yeah. you provide that initial straight away. Uh, do you do any of the signposting bit? I think you mentioned that earlier. Do you do any of the signposting to things, or do you pass them on yes, to all the? Yeah, yeah, we do. We work. Yes, we do. If people want it, right, right, yeah. So you, what what is your key aim? With, 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 with Echo. Uh, the main thing is help people, make sure we're there for them. Right to get like what, that initial people. food. Yeah. Yes, initial food help. Yeah. And someone to talk to, and then you can pass them on to others if they if if they ask. Yeah. So I'm looking yeah. for somewhere to live. I don't know what yeah. I'm supposed to be doing with this. As they're having their food, they talk to you, don't. So they're free to say, well, so, here's a number, give this a ring, let's get, that, uh, let's get your name on uh, and just signpost them to, to others. Yeah. But you carry on and provide that food. You say Wednesdays and Saturdays up in, and so, uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays up in Grimsby and Lincoln, you go on a Sunday and what have you, which will not keep you lost. Yeah. No doubt you've got to get yourself sorted. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's another crew going out there today. There's another crew going out there today. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, not about so, volunteers. Excellent. 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 Well, Richard, thank you very much for um, for talking yep. to me with this. Um, that was great. That's uh, Richard Speed from uh, ECHO. That is East Coast Homeless Outreach, who do uh, uh, Wednesday and Saturday providing meals for homeless in Grimsby and a Sunday lunch in Lincoln providing for homeless and uh, as it's just said he had to do a, a one-off as it were in Scarborough of all places to uh, to help a, a black hole of a situation of self-employed uh, circus people up there. Excellent Richard thank you very much indeed for that and uh, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Uh...